Good morning, colleagues. Thank you, Mr. President. No one can know all of the reasons that a woman chooses to end a pregnancy, which is why a one-size-fits-all ban like LB-626 doesn't work. I'm not comfortable deciding for someone else whether they should have an abortion or not. And I'm not comfortable telling doctors what the best standard of care should be when it comes to a safe procedure. When a woman has made a decision to have an abortion, she should not be judged. It's not our place to judge. A woman who decides to end a pregnancy needs comfort and a compassionate embrace, not a cold shoulder, not judgment. There are no easy answers, and everybody's path looks a little bit different. If people who supported this abortion ban really cared about ending abortion, we would be having a serious conversation about how to increase contraception usage, how to support single mothers, how to support people in poverty to make them more likely to carry their pregnancies to term, how to make sure young people are more educated about their own bodies and reproductive health. We wouldn't be supporting abstinence-only education, we wouldn't be banning books from libraries, and we wouldn't be advocating for decreasing funding for low-income women who need health care. Restricting reproductive health care, like what happens with LB-626, is a guaranteed way to increase unplanned pregnancies in Nebraska. Taking access and knowledge away about reproductive health care for women is a guaranteed way to increase unplanned pregnancies and increase abortions. So are we interested in Nebraska in reducing abortions? No, I don't believe that we are. I think that we're interested in forcing women to be pregnant, that we see women in our state as stock to create workers of the future. And that's a disgusting thing. When women make decisions about having a baby, they think about how they're gonna provide for that child. So if you want fewer abortions, we should increase tipped wages. We should support paid family leave. We should increase access to health care because women who are paid fairly, who have health insurance, and who have educational opportunities are far less likely to feel that an abortion is necessary for them. Banning abortion is never going to end abortion. As long as people have been getting pregnant, there have been people who don't want to be pregnant. And for most, if not almost all, of human existence, we weren't able to control our fertility. And since the dawn of birth control, what's happened since then? We have women working. We have women going to school. And that's led to women making up more than half of people who graduate. We can live in a society for the very first time in human history where half of our doctors, half of our lawyers, half of all of our professionals can be women. And our shared quality of life for all of us is better for that. Men, men in this body, you have to want for women the same things that you want for yourselves. You have to have an interest in women's success, even if it doesn't affect you personally, because it does. And we women are so frustrated because we know that we're fighting for the rights that we've already won. We're fighting to preserve the rights that are human rights that we know that we should have. Politicians have no place interfering with personal health care decisions, and we need to trust Nebraskans, we need to trust doctors, and we need to trust families in our state to know what's best for themselves, for their health, for their families, and for their futures. I will lead the fight against this ban and any other anti-choice bill that comes down the chute for the rest of my time in this session, for the rest of my time in my term, our advocates in Nebraska are ready, we are together, we are organized, and no matter what happens with LB-626, we will never allow the reproductive rights of Nebraskans to be further stripped away, and there is nothing that government can do to us that we won't make up for in mutual aid, in mutual support, because when the government doesn't have our backs, we have our backs. And this is what we're seeing state to state to state all over the country, where women's rights and reproductive rights and reproductive justice is being taken away. We find a way no matter what. 
Mr. Clerk, I'd like to withdraw this motion and my subsequent motions. Thank you.